There are three reasons why you should not replace your mattress. We're gonna talk about that today. Let's go. Hey everybody, I'm, I'm Pablo from Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. Okay, so we just did shot a video on when to replace your mattress. And there was a pretty good list on when you should, but it also just occurred to us like, when should you not replace your mattress? And one reason why we're doing this is because this week I had a customer who just bought a brand new mattress when she should not have had to buy a brand new mattress. And she's now, and I'll talk about her story a little bit later, but we have found there's at least three reasons. And we're gonna set aside, yes, you're broke, you don't have the money, you need to pay rent, or if you put food on your table, then you probably should take care of that first. Yep. Or there's actually a debate, that could be debated too. You might need to need a new mattress so you can sleep better and be more productive at work and make more money too. But we'll talk about that on another chapter. So, but Gabe, really, honestly, what are the three reasons that we found when you should not replace your mattress? Yeah, when you should not replace your mattress is, let's say you just bought a mattress, right? You know, and um, you know, after the first like three months, six months, maybe a year, two years, all of a sudden you start noticing like, man, what's happening to my mattress? Yeah. Like it's just starting to, it looks like it's starting to break down. Well, first check the support of the mattress, like yes. the foundation. Yes. What is the mattress sitting on? Yes. Cause that might be what the cause is. You know, we, I mean, we've seen that a lot. Oh yeah. Right? I've, had, I've seen it. I've seen it more times than, you know, that, yeah, Shit. yeah. I mean, that that's a big reason why you know a lot of companies say, hey, if you don't buy the foundation, replace the foundation too. That uh, the warranty is voided because a lot of times customers would put mattresses on an old foundation that it looks like it might be okay. Yes. You know, they think, ah, oh, it doesn't get much use. It's good. It's sturdy. But that's where it starts. At. So yeah, if you're noticing your mattress starting to dip a bit, either one on each side or down the middle, number one, check what's underneath the mattress, yep. either the foundation, the bed frame, even the floor can't contribute that. We say a mattress is only as good as the weakest link. Whatever's underneath the mattress is bad. Yeah. It's gonna trickle up to the mattress, which will eventually trickle up to your back. Mm -hmm. So if your mattress, like Gabe said, if it's fairly new and it should not be dipping it as quick as it should, yeah. then, I mean, you may have just gotten a cheap mattress, but if it's a pretty good mattress, there's something else going on wrong first, I would suspect. So foundation, yeah. box spring, bed frame, flooring, any of those things that your mattress sit on, check that first because yeah. that can contribute yeah. that. Now, here's the thing. Now, if it's been on there for a long time, yes. then your mattress may have been shot already. Then you may need a new mattress. But if it hasn't been that long of a time frame, then first replace that first. Yeah. You might not you need to save yourself a thousand, two thousand bucks. I remember when we, uh, there was a customer that we had that they bought our mattress and they were like thinking, oh, I got to replace it. It's like we got, it doesn't feel the same as in the store. Yeah feel like I'm sinking into it. And then so we go out there, we inspect it, we're looking at it. They have their mattress on slats. I'm like, okay, it's not, you know, you're thinking, well, it's a new bed yes. with slats, should be good. Yes. And then like, you know what, do this. Lie on your mattress. Let me look underneath the bed, see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you see the slats starting to bow. Yep, right big. And it was like, that's the problem right there. Yep. You know, you need something on top that's gonna be nice and sturdy instead of those slats that are bone. Yeah, like we I mean we just added a bunky board on there, which yeah. is like a two-inch little foundation around top. That was a lot more stable for it. And our bunky boards are really sturdy, you know, they're yeah. not cardboard, they have actually have a lot of wood in there. Yeah. But something simple just saved her money so she did not have to get a new mattress. Yeah, and then we didn't have to like replace the mattress. And they're like, oh, night and day difference. Yep. Right? Okay, so the second reason why you should not replace your mattress. What's number two, Gabe? Number two is if you're just sleeping too hot. Yes. Right? If you're hot, if you're just like a, man, I'm, I'm, I'm waking up sweaty, I'm getting hot, like I just can't, like what's going on? This mattress, I'm just overheating. Yes. It might not be that mattress. It may not be. It may be the mattress, but it may not be. Check this first. So what are the things that they should check first with the, yeah. with the mattress? First thing is, one is, do you have a mattress protector on there? Right? Yes, a mattress protectors are big. A lot of times a mattress protector has that waterproof backing yes. and stuff, and it takes away breathability. Even though there's a demo, yeah. right? You can see the demo and you can say, oh no, I can still smell this. You know, they have it covered and yeah. it's not, no, it, it still takes away breathability. Anything yeah. that adds stuff to the mattress, it removes breathability. Any, yeah, anything waterproof can take away, inhibit the breathability. So even though on the packaging, it does say breathable. It's a love-hate relationship with me with mattress protectors because I do believe you should protect your mattress. But if you're very sensitive to any heat temperature, that can play a big factor. Then now there's some that are better than others that are more breathable, but some of the cheaper ones, it's going to take away that breathability. So I tell people, first, let's remove that. Let's see if there's any yeah. improvement on there. So the mattress protectors, one, what's another? 
another way to that that yeah. can inhibit. Another one is gonna be like your just your bedding. You know, yeah. what are kind of what kind of sheets do you have? Like you know, that's you hear like one if your sheets are polyester, maybe get rid of them. Microfibers, um, micro microfiber, man. Brushed yep. microfiber. They some you some yeah. might see it. Brushed microfiber sounds fancy. Um, and it feels nice and soft. Yeah, you but know, that, like velvety or like soft. Yeah. But yeah, it could be a very hot. And then, you know, obviously if you're wearing, using flannel sheets, maybe change it for a different type of sheet. Yeah, yeah, even the temperature change as we go into different seasons. Oh man, I'm getting hot now. Yeah. You know, that can play a big factor too. However, now this happened this week, a customer, so she was actually a customer from ours, with ours. We were able to like, she wanted to freshen up her bed. We changed out the comfort layer, you know, went to a towel lay, and now she's like, you know, I'm getting hot. Yeah. You know, I'm sleeping hot and I could not figure out the reasons why we did everything. You know, we troubleshot why she was getting hot and we could have figured it out. Mm -hmm. So she ended up buying another mattress from another company. Same issue, getting hot. She hated it. She did not like the feel of it. So she had to return that and she got rid of the previous mattress because she loved the feel of the mattress. Mm -hmm. She was just saying she was getting too hot. And then it occurred that she was wondering like what changed if she started a new medication mm -hmm. around the same time we had changed out that comfort layer that's when she was getting hot and it was the medication that totally messed up Man. her her body temperature getting hot flashes and that was the reason why she was getting hot that one people, people don't even i didn't even think about it. that yeah. was the first yes and notice it as our body changes too you know our body goes through these cycles you know they have these rhythms and temperature is a big part of that right that can affect it so it's maybe not be your mattress it may be something in your lifestyle something in your diet yeah. something you know just around your environment that can mess up your body temperature but you blame it on the mattress so if you have a good mattress like before you're going to shell out another two three four thousand bucks on a new mattress check your your diet your medication all that before you do that because the temperature is a huge factor for people on replacing their mattress yep yeah. okay so that's number two the third reason why people i would say you may not need to replace your mattress gabe what's the third reason yeah third one is going to be uh, your mattress is just plainly too firm you know it's a relatively new mattress or it's a mattress in great shape it's got no sagging yep. dipping in it and all of a sudden and you're just like, man, this mattress is just killing my pressure, you know? Yeah. My pressure points or something. Like, I just can't get comfortable. Maybe you just need a topper. Yeah. Right? And that's what the caveat, like if your mattress is fairly new, like I would say three years or less, that's good support. Your good support underneath, good support of mattress is just too hard on you. A topper may be the solution. You know, it's toppers, they get it. Some people give them a bad rap, you know, they're actually a great way to take away pressure. And then toppers have been a little bit more sophisticated now with yeah. latex, not just the foam foam, a crate topper or memory foam topper. You know, we got quilted toppers. We got toppers that are almost mimic. It's a pillow top mm -hmm. on top of the mattress. You're adding that to it. That may be the solution for that pressure relief and for that discomfort. So a topper may be the way to go. Yeah. yeah we actually did a whole video on should you get a mattress, replace your mattress or get a mattress topper. Yeah. So that's actually a good video to explore, you know, but if your mattress has just lost support, it's firm and it's starting to dip a little bit, then getting a topper is just going to put you in a yeah. softer dip. So then, but yeah, check out that video should you get a mattress topper that will make it a little bit more clear for you all right so those are the three reasons why you should maybe not get a new mattress explore that also check out our video when to replace your new mattress yeah and then also check out this video us opening up a mattress a name brand mattress showing you the, the little cool comfort materials that are inside it and why it failed very very interesting so and also what else do we have the yeah we got a mattress shopping guide that you could download for free no charge for you it's just to help you get your mattress shopping journey and then things to look for when you're out shopping for bed yeah yeah you know? give us a like share the video subscribe thank you for watching good night god bless sleep well